folks, welcome to another installment of Boss Builds where I'm building the Dragon 1 9th scale uh, unpainted kit of the Incredible Hulk from the Avengers movie. And if you've been following along, you know I've uh, put the, um, I appreciated the muscles and then put the green coat on top of that and another green coat on top of that and I was promising that I'd get to some detail painting on the face and head and guess what? I have done some detail painting. Now before you get all excited about the super pepsodent teeth whitening version of the Hulk that you see here uh, with the super bright eyes, this is a, I just started um, putting the basic colors on there. I'm gonna tone it down a lot more. Uh, maybe, you know, yellow and green his teeth up a bit. Although he's got pretty good teeth. You know, he's not, uh, nothing to be ashamed of uh, with his teeth there, but I'll make it look a little less uh, stark again. Another Avengers reference I keep sticking in there. He's a little stark right now. Same with the hair, you know, painted it black. Um, but it's just completely black. There's gonna be dry brushing and stuff coming on later. So, so far I'm thinking so good. And uh, I'll tell you how I got to this point so far. Uh, this, uh, I did this over two nights. Uh, I started um, two nights ago with a larger brush. I'm gonna show you this brush. This is the brush I did some of the detail painting with. I forgot to bring my other brush. It's about a quarter inch. Uh, Why well, was that an eight, eighth of an inch? Uh, two different sizes, but bigger than this. And I started by, uh, first I put some black, flat black, into the mouth, just because you know you really can't see in the mouth there. So to make it blacker, uh, you know, I tried to do that earlier with uh, with airbrushing everything, but with doing the green on top of that, it got uh, kind of greened up. So I just went in there and blackened out the inside of his mouth, uh, and then I picked out his eyebrows and did all his hair. And again, this is just uh, Gunze Sangyo's aqueous flat black. Um, it's not really quite that flat. I even added a little flat base to it, but it still got a bit of a sheen to it. But then again, hair does. Uh, you know, this I airbrushed all this. The airbrushed Gunzes are really flat, but uh, when I brush painted this on there, uh, you know, it still's got a, a little bit of a semi-gloss finish. Still a lot more to do on that, though. Uh, I can also say about the Gunze paints, even though unfortunately we can't sell them overseas, um, the paint went on really well, even with the brush. It had good coverage. Uh, I didn't get any lifting of the colors underneath, the green underneath, so that yeah, was a went on pretty good. And again, I used a wider brush to cover all this. Um, one of the tricks I tried to pull off is, is as if you've been following along, you know there's a pretty good seam that I really couldn't take care of here. Uh, I, of course, if I put more time and effort into it, I might have been able to take care of it, but um, just the way I've been building this one, I uh, didn't get around to actually trying to putty out too much. And it's right on the hairline too, so it'd be kind of difficult. So what I did is um, actually from different angles, it either looks like I messed up and it's kind of messy, or it just kind of looks like his hair. So I just kind of went over with a finer brush, this brush here, and just kind of picked out some hair to cover up that line, because otherwise it's just a straight line and it really kind of stands out. So hopefully from a distance, um, it just looks like a natural hairline there. Uh, so that was, uh, I did all that on day one, which was two days ago. On day two, um, I added uh, the white and some uh, a dark pinkish gray color around the lips. And actually that's where I started, using this very fine brush. Uh, I mixed up a, a concoction of uh, flat white, flat black, and some flat red. I got a really kind of, I don't even know if you can see the color there, a sort of a grayish, pinkish, inside of the mouth lip kind of thing, which I didn't actually put in the mouth because I wanted that to be black, but uh, you know, he's got his angry face on, so he's got a little bit of a lip thing showing here. So I just went in there with that color, quite thinned, and just slurfed it around in here to get uh, that inner lip thing there. Didn't really bother with a top lip because he's got, he's pretty tight, his, his lip's pretty tight against the teeth there, so uh, I'll pick that out with uh, some dark washes at a later point in time. Uh, so I did that first because I knew I wanted to put the white on the teeth later, uh, so I did the, did the pink part first to let that dry, uh, and then I went and picked out the whites of the eyes, um, which are very tiny and beady here. Uh, so I used this actual this brush here and I used some thinned white not too thin though, not too thick, and just went in and boink, 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 picked out the whites. Didn't bother too much to get total coverage um, in the middle, although I think I actually ended up getting the whole thing white, so he you know, had a kind of zombie, no pupils, no iris, white Hulk look, white-eyed Hulk look. Um, so I picked that out there. Now wait a minute, I'm having, I'm having a, uh, a moment here. Did I do all that on the first day or the second day? Well, it's all in the video, so you'll be able to see it. Um, if it's not in the exact order I did it, please forgive me. Uh, but anyway, I put the white in um, with the thought of that I would put the pupils in later. So that was all the white. Then I also picked out the teeth. I think I used this brush pretty much uh, for the teeth. You know, just kind of went over there. I uh, wasn't too concerned about staying in lines or anything because um, the 
I'll put some dark washes on here later to get the spaces in between the teeth uh, to pop out. Uh, but I did use some different colors. And even though it's still pretty stark right now, it's dark, it's dark, it's still pretty dark, uh, bright right now, um, I actually had mixed some, uh, it's kind of a grayish color. I, the, the straight flat white is really, really white. Uh, so I mixed in a little black just to get a sort of a grayish color. And uh, just through the course of doing the teeth, um, I'd put several different layers on there. So it's got a bit of a gradation. Uh, but still super pearly white, so I'm going to go back later and uh, put some washes and things on here to knock it down a little bit. You know, this is the super Hollywood Hulk here. Uh, needs to have his teeth a little darker than that. Uh, so I went and picked out, you know, picked out the teeth here uh, one by one. Uh, tried to not get too sloppy on the lips there because you can come back later and fix that. And then I went on to the eyes, and this is always the most nervous part of doing a figure for me anyway, is getting those pupils right. And the technique I use, and can recommend, you might uh, do it your own way, that's fine, is uh, some people just use a brush and just try to get in there and do a round thing. Uh, I'm not too good at straight lines and making perfect circles, uh, so what I use is just a toothpick, like this one, and I actually chopped the tip off a little bit and sanded it so it's got a nice, flat, round, as round as you can get it, and if you look closely, toothpicks really aren't all that round. Uh, and what I do is um, shake up my uh, paint and uh, the steps I do is black, brown, and then black for a pupil and uh, just use the, the paint lid and just dip this in here and get a pretty good blob of paint on here. Now this is for the, the first uh, to get that outer black rim uh, of the iris, the, you know, the colored part of the eye there. So get a big blob in here and just try to be steady. You know, I had him, don't know if you want to follow me down. This is how I actually did it. We'll see it in the video too. You know, just kind of laid him on my table. So really steady dip this in the paint and then try to find the center of the eye and just go bloip and uh, you can usually get a pretty good perfectly round iris there blink blink in both eyes now i don't worry it's going to be perfectly round but unless you're unless you're like this you really can't see the whole round part of the eye uh, so it'll kind of splop around the outside of the eye but uh you know you go back and paint over that later so did uh, both of the black rims blop blop which gives you a big black dot in the middle um, went on to some other things. I think I touched up the hair and did some other things. Did the teeth maybe when I was doing that. Uh, came back later with the, the same tool, this toothpick, and used some brown, uh, some dark brown, flat brown. And again, these are all flat colors because I just like working better with the flat, so I'll, I'll gloss up the teeth and the eyes later. And using the same technique, you know, dipped it in the paint and did the same just stab right in the middle. Again, not pushing down too hard, but just a stab in the middle there. Uh, to the extent that it just barely gets to the rim of the black. So then now, so at that point, uh, I've got a nice brown iris with a nice black thing around it, which is very hard to see because he's very tiny beady eyes. Um, anyway, I hope that... Actually, this, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you, the right eye turned out a little bit better than the left eye for some reason. Uh, you always kind of have that. Um, so I'm a little happier with the right eye than the left eye. And then for the final thing, I just used a regular, this isn't the one I used, but just a regular pointy toothpick, and this was just to get the pupil. And did the same thing, dipped it in the paint, and uh, you know, just tried to get, tried to center it as best I could, eyeballing it, and poip, you know, put a little pupil uh, right in the middle of each eye. Now this is hard to do, so, for me, because my eyes are going, so I always use my super, you remember this thing, don't you? You know, resistance is futile, that thing. So this, this works really good, and I can get right in there and I can see his eyes. And yeah, actually the pupils aren't bad at all right here. I see some problems, but uh, that'll be yours and mine, the secret. So, glasses aside. Uh, so I was pretty happy with the eyes. One thing I wasn't too happy with, and it has something to do with the way the eyes are molded, uh, this figure, and a lot of figure kits actually, have the, the iris is, 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 is molded onto the eyeball itself, uh, which is good because it gives you a target to shoot for when you're trying to paint and all. Um, but with the technique I like to use of just blopping the thing on there, um, the edges of the mold, and the, they're, they're actually engraved on there, uh, sort of caught the paint, uh, the viscosity of the paint, and didn't give me the perfectly round circle I usually get. Uh, actually, they turned out kind of square. Uh, but Hulk's kind of squinty anyway, uh, and I'm going to do some more painting and darkening up in there, so hopefully that squareness uh, of the eyes uh, won't be too apparent later on. Um, I prefer figures that just have a, a you know, no detail, just a smooth, round surface. Uh, and another reason why that's a good thing is, of course, you can change the position of the eyes if you want. Uh, I think this is not a bad pose of, of the eyes here, but um, 
I don't know, for Hulk in this position, might look a little cooler if he was looking down more. You know, this is kind of just, he's got this blank gaze. He's kind of going, hmm, oh, the fields, the fields of my youth, um, while he's smashing something. But, uh, you know, if you have him looking down or left or right or whatever, he can get a little more dynamicism in your posing there. But, uh, you yeah, know, this is okay. This is okay. Um, the only thing I regret is I couldn't really get perfectly round people's, but that's okay because he's, again, squinty, and hopefully that'll all come out in the wash later. Uh, to finish up, what did I do yesterday? Uh, again, just touched up around the hair, uh, worked on the teeth, uh, finished the eyes, and didn't do anything else. So that was two days worth of work. And what I got coming up next for the guy is more facial detail stuff. And I'll probably start doing the washes and stuff on his face and then move on to the rest of his body. And by washes, I'll probably do like pin type washes where you just get a little bit of a thinned dark paint, you know, and just uh, kind of put it in all these creases here to make it really stand out. Uh, but you don't want to get too stark with those kind of things because it'll look really nutty. Uh, so just going out, probably just use darkened versions of the green just to get in here and uh, get the face to be a little more realistic. Uh, now some, you know, really hardcore figure painters will do all this in oil paints and put them on here in 15 different shades and blend it all together. Uh, and, you know, you can get that beautiful Euro military look, um, award-winning stuff and little tiny 135th figures that look beautiful. But, uh, you know, it's a little larger um, and um, I've never worked with oil, so I'm just going to stick with the acrylics and uh, just pop out the highlights as best I can uh, using the techniques that I know, basically washing and things. And then do some dry brushing with lighter colors. Uh, to get the face to pop out. Uh, yeah, particularly the hair will look a lot better when I get through with this. I can dry brush his eyebrows, dry brush his hair, a couple different colors uh, to get some more uh, depth and texture into his hair. But speaking of texture, the hair is very textured, so this should uh, really take a, a dry brushing very well. And yeah, so I'm going to focus on the head and the face again for the next few episodes. Uh, again, put some washes on here that'll get some definition in between the teeth. Right now he's just got this, you know, super a Cadillac Escalade grill looking shiny pile of enamels right here. Uh, but, you know, get some washes in there, pick out the, make them look more like a, a slightly more natural set of choppers. Uh, and uh, that's where we are right now. So um, hopefully I'll be back in a week or two with um, some more progress and getting this guy finished. So see you next time on Boss Builds.